Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 62. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how Snapshot Monitor displays incorrect application code page. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. So the problem scenario is uh, we want to demonstrate how a Snapshot Monitor outputs incorrect application code page. So the Snapshot Monitor is like uh, you can use the get snapshot for application agent ID command or the uh, admin view or table functions are available uh, sysibm adm dot snap appl underscore info uh, so uh, both of uh, these things will uh, return incorrect application code page so actually it is technically correct but functionally incorrect that's what i mean by that so i'll show you in the demonstration what what is the exact scenario and the uh, solution for that right so that, that we have uh, given the problem scenario so what is the solution for that the solution is to use event monitor for connections Preferably you can use a table based event monitor so that you can just you know basically query the table and get the output like that instead of a file based event monitor. So uh, let's quickly uh, jump into uh, examples. Okay so here I have uh, in terminal 1 I have started the instance activate the database test db and I have connected to test db as well okay and uh, there is a, a table big data okay. So which contains, I am loading some huge amounts of vast amount of data into this table, insert into big data. Okay, so after that I am creating a event monitor. So event monitor for connections, right to table, con header. So uh, so I am using a table and there is only one uh, component, right? I am just collecting the data for an auto start. And after that I am setting the event monitor state to one. So let me just first do this. So I have connected to the test DB. I have created the event monitor. Okay. Mm, completed and I am setting the state to zero. I will come back to that. So why I am doing this. Okay. So after that, I am issuing DB2 hyphen A connect. Okay. And I am uh, uh, getting the DB CFG. Okay. For the test uh, database. And I am uh, finding the code page. Okay. Okay, let us do that quickly. So in DB2 hyphen A connect output, you can see that, see this is 1252. So this is the server code page. So you can see that. So this is the DB2 server or the database code page. Okay. What is the client code page? So this is what is. So 1208. This will be the client code page. Okay. So you can see that in database uh, CFG file, like the DB CFG file, you can see the database code page is 1252. See here, 1252. Okay, so you can see that the database code page is 1252. So here and the client, so here it is a DB2 CLP session. So that code page is 1208. Okay, so it's a Unicode client connecting to a non Unicode database like that. Okay, that is the scenario here. So what should the uh, applications uh, get snapshot command say, right? So that is what uh, the whole thing is about. So in another uh, terminal, so what I'm doing is I'm saying DB2 list applications. So 16, so th that is this connection, right? So DB2 connection. So this is the 16, okay? So let me just put that 16 number here, okay? And I'm going to issue the get snapshot command basically, right? Okay, so get snapshot for application agent ID. So you can see that the application code page is 1208 and it is UOW waiting state. So, uh, so far so good, right? So it is it is returning the correct uh, application code. The snapshot command is returning the correct application code. But after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run, uh, create a stored procedure here and I'm going to call that particular stored procedure, okay? Copy this. So this I'll do it in this connection window. So you can see that. Uh, basically the stored procedure is nothing it is it can be anything so the stored procedure what the idea here is the stored procedure will run under database code page which is 1252 it is a very simple stored procedure selecting the count uh, number of records in the big data table that's all so i'm i'm going to call this so before i call this okay so i'll come back here so i'll i show you how the status changes so uh, We'll execute one more time. So UOW waiting 1208 is the application code page. So now I'm going to execute the procedure here. So when it is executing the procedure here, you can see that see, UOW executing and the code application code page is also getting changed to 1252, which is reflecting the database code page. So you can see that, right? 
so this is the issue that i am talking about so 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 now this now you can see that this in this window the, the stored procedure got completed so now it is look at this it it became uow waiting and the code page also changed so the application code page also changed to 1208 so the issue here is actually uh, when you issue the get snapshot request if something is executing on the server side and if it is executing like some stored procedure then it will reflect the database code page instead of the actual application code page right so that that's what is happening so if you look at for example let me run the same thing whatever that stored procedure was having right <coughs> the, sto the same thing i'm running as a dynamic sql right so let me come come back to this window i'm running that see now you can see here it isn't executing but it is 1208 only right because it is executing dynamic sql it is not executing a stored procedure like that right okay so it will not change right that's it so this is the issue Th this is what i mean like a technically correct but functionally incorrect right so you you cannot use the get snapshot command blindly and just say <coughs> yeah so I, I i just did that in and it is not a unicode client like that i cannot decide so what is the solution for it so the solution for it is to use the event monitor see we have created this event monitor for connections right so i'll show you that output okay okay for that i need to be connected to sam sorry connected to test db database <coughs> so you can see that for the application code 16 right 1208 so this will tell me the correct for this particular agent id what is the code page id even if it ex it is executing say for example i am calling the invoking the procedure here so obviously that will not affect here actually right so for look at the first record 16 it is still 1208 only it is not 1252 uh, even if the stored procedure is executing right that is that's it so the the reasonable way or very consistent way is to uh, get it get the information from the uh, event monitor so if you are using snapshot monitor or get snapshot command you have to make sure that you are in not in uow executing state otherwise it will reflect the 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 application code page element will reflect the database code page so that's uh, that's the tip actually i uh, hope it this information was useful to you uh, thanks for uh, watching this video Please subscribe to my channel DB2LUW Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.